Okay, some more uh, examples from section 7.2. This is example number three, and this is in your book, uh, although I may do it somewhat differently. I'll find the area enclosed by the graphs of y equals 2 cosine of x and y equals x squared minus 1, and the cosine of x um, and 2 cosine of x. We just changed the amplitude, so it's going to go up to 2, <clears throat> but it still will be 0 at, at pi over 2. Remember, pi over 2 is approximately, you know, 1.57, 3.14 divided by 2. So the zeros are going to be the same. It's just going to be a little steeper, okay, because of the amplitude change. And then um, we also have um, y equals x squared minus 1. That's just a regular parabola shifted down one. So when we think about this, this would be my top curve and this would be my bottom curve. And that's no problem. And... Um, we want to use a calculator to find the limits of integration first of, of the two curves. And we're going to integrate this, so I guess this would be, I guess I could write that down, I could do that. So this is going to be the integral. And my top curve would be uh, 2 cosine of x minus the bottom curve, which would be the x squared minus 1 with respect to x. So that's what we want to do. And again, we want to like label as much of this as we can so we know what's going on. Okay. So again, this would be my top curve. And this is my bottom curve. Okay, so I think that's okay. All right, now we have to find out where they intersect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in my calculator. This is actually using calculator because we don't know. Um, we want to find this area in here, so we're going to have to kind of figure out where we're going to integrate from. So get out our trusty calculators and um, turn this guy on, and I'll go to y1, and I put. Uh, 2 cosine x on the first, um, y1, that's the top curve, and then uh, x squared minus 1 in the bottom curve. So I, I'm going to graph this, and I'm going to go to uh, zoom. I guess I'll go to zoom 4 on this one. I'm sorry, yeah, zoom 4 should work. And you can see your curve there. There's your uh, cosine. You see this is the... Uh, one and two, so I just go between there and there's it. <clears throat> y equals us uh, x squared minus one. So let's just find out where they intersect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to second calculate, and we can go down here to intersect, and that's five. So just press five, and first curve. So let's go over here and let's take a look at where they intersect. And I can use that for the first curve. Enter. It looks like that's the second curve there. Enter. And this is going to be my first intersection, so this is going to be at x equal uh, negative 1. That's my left bound, so I'm going to call that alpha a. So I'm going to, I'm going to go x store alpha a. And that's going to put that number in. Okay. Then I'll go back to zoom 4, back to my graph. So I can calculate and it intersect again, 5, and then I'm going to go over here and find the second point of intersection. Let's see where that's going to be. Enter. Second curve, enter, enter. And that's going to be 1 point. Now, now the thing is, it's, it's the same because it, they're both symmetrical. So that's not a problem. If that makes sense. So I'm going to store that in alpha b. Um, x store alpha b. And then you can see that. See, so one was negative, one was positive. That makes sense. I could have just negated that, but this is okay either way because sometimes they're different. All right, then I'm going to go to math 9.
So I want to find this integral. So now I've got my alpha B. Now what you do on the AP exam is you can write the alpha A and the alpha B down. So you can say let A equal, and that would be negative 1.2654 Two three seven and B and I think you only have to carry it out two places, but the same thing one point two six five four two three seven. And then once you write that down, then they know that's what you mean. So then you could just write here. You don't have to write that up here on your limits. You could just write A to B. And now you've got that. Okay. Now we can do the rest with a calculator. This is obviously a calculator problem. So once you have that, we'll go to Math 9, F and I and T, and then rather than put the functions in it, we can use just use var y var. So go var y bars and that's why one my top my my top curve was y1 minus so that's going to take the integral of the difference of those curves that's what I want comma x is my variable of integration and I'm going to go alpha a comma alpha b, parentheses. So now we got that in there. I hope everybody can see that okay. So that's your top curve minus your bottom curve integrated from a to b. There's your area. Okay. 4.99. And you can check that in the book. They, they do a little bit differently. They, they don't use the var y vars. But once you've already put it in, you might as well, so that's no problem. So we get areas approximately... And we're done. Four point nine nine. Okay. And again, just so so you can see how that's done, we did this. F N. And then we did just did y one minus y two, comma, x comma. A comma B. Okay? And you'll use this technique a lot, and you've got to get pretty fast at it, so it was probably worthwhile spending the time to do that one. So that's example three. And again, go over that, make sure you understand all the techniques and how to use the intersection, um, you know, uh, process on your calculator. Alrighty.